Hello there, children, and here we are again with yet another story. This is the story of the humble, humble tar mechanic. Now, I don't know if you know much about Funnyland, but in the country of Funnyland, a car mechanic is a lot more important than you may think, especially in comparison to in our, our weird society. A car mechanic in Funnyland is exactly the same, well, in social standards, as a gladiator or a jousting knight. Now, what is this car mechanic's name, I hear you ask? Well, his name is John of Spannerwood. Well, obviously that's not his real name, but his father bought him the title of John of Spannerwood, because his real name is just a boring old John Wilson. Anyway, um, basically, on May the 15th, every year, uh, the Funny Land Council arrange a fight to the death between car mechanics. There will only be one winner, and there will be 7,000 different car mechanics. So let's get to it. On day one, John of Spannerwood found a little hidey hole where he stayed for seven days and seven nights. By the time he got out, 1,000 of the 7,000 car mechanics were dead already. He ran to the trees in the distance and took a stick with his hand. A man jumped in front of him with a spanner. He said, Nobody comes at me with a spanner. My name is John of Spannerwood. And what he did was he used the, uh, the stick to twist the, the spanner around and grab it with his own hands. And then he hit the man on the head with the spanner. Sorry. It's a bit violent, this story. So, you may want to change. <laughs> anyway. He climbed up a tree and stayed in the treehouse that he made from scrap wood and bird's nest. And, uh, Stayed up there for another couple of days until there were only three thousand car mechanics left standing. He decided that this was his time. He ran down. He kept running. He kept on, kept on, kept on, kept on running through the city and everywhere else that you may think of that car mechanics may abide. He then reached a plane. Going for the plains was a dangerous and dangerous business because he was out in the open. But he knew he had to do it. Yes, he did. On the other side, about a kilometre away, was the ruined city. He ran. The plains were empty. This was his chance. As he ran, he noticed that all the enemies were coming from the sky. They dropped in front of him like ninjas, but he just swam through them. Yeah, wachang, 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 the sword were hitting each other and he was ducking through every single one of them. Obviously all these car mechanics were after each other as well, not just him. So he was forgotten about and he managed to slip through into the thing. In this one battle in the fields, another thousand of the car mechanics were dead, leaving only two thousand car mechanics left. He got into the city and in the city he found the atom bomb of doom. He well, he ignited it and went into the atom bomb bunker. As he was in there, he had time to think, because there was a seven minute timer on the atom bomb. Then he realized the atom bomb was strictly forbidden. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And actually, he would probably end up killing everyone in Funny Land. Luckily, helicopters came down and disarmed the atom bomb. It was then taken to a secret, secret, secret location. Mr. What, what, let me there. John of Spannerwood was taken out of the bunker and beat to death with a stick. And it wasn't just a normal stick. It was a stick that had been up. A donkey's.
butthole. I hope you enjoyed today's story, kiddies. There'll be lots, 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 lots more. <laughs>